What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. <music> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we're going to go over a couple things, market talk, snipe filters, and whatnot. Before we get into it, smash the like button if you're new. Drop the sub if you're new. It'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, um, let's go over a ton of things on the market. As you can see, my MT is up. My team is looking pretty nice. And uh, yeah, guys, today... We're just going to go over a couple things. Um, first off, I'm grinding for Curry. I'm 18 out of 30. We're a little behind, but you know what? It's fine. We're probably going to finish them tonight or tomorrow. But uh, yeah, there is a lot of stuff going on. So we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about the market. We're going to show you some snipe filters and whatnot, what you guys should be doing right now. Um, right off the bat, I want to talk about a couple things. A lot of Opals dropped in value. So since we are getting closer and closer to Endgame, man... Um, you shall see a ton of opals go down in price. So if I were you, I would recommend selling your teams. Um, it, a couple high tier cards did go up in value since yesterday. One of them is Kevin Durant. I did get mine for 730k yesterday. He's now up to 830k. Not the biggest profit, but a lot of high tier cards are going to go up in value within the next two days. So if I were you, if you picked up some high tier cards like Lamelo Ball, Kevin Durant. Uh, who else? Maybe Giannis. I see Giannis Opal dropping in value. Maybe you want to pick him up. Oh, wow. He went up about 400,000 MT earlier today and yesterday. He was rocking around 1.1 mil. Now this one is selling for 1.5 mil. So if you guys didn't know, man, some of these high tier cards were very cheap. Uh, some, for instance, uh, Giannis was one of them. KD was one of them. LaMelo Ball was one of them. Rashad Lewis was one of them. Go Jordan, pretty much all the tier cars that are around 800k and up. Rashad Lewis is over 2.2 mil, guys, with an hour left. T Mac on PS4 is up to 1.5k. So, if I were you, I would probably recommend selling your T Mac. There is a lot going on in this game right now, a lot. So, I definitely do recommend you guys continue to grind and continue to snipe out these cars. If I were you right now, some opals I like looking at here and there is opals that are close to buyout but a little bit over some of them are pascal siakam and also not only that point guard Giannis is now dropped in price almost oh my god he went up in price so yesterday Giannis antetokounmpo point guard was going for around 104 kmt in which i did pick him up so a lot of these guards that are a close to buyout but are still rare are going up in value so if you did pick up some i would recommend uh let's check out bosh let's talk out jr smith i was looking at all these prices yesterday and bosh even rose too he was really cheap yesterday now he's almost back up to a hundred thousand mt another card i was looking at is anthony edwards and jr smith so looking at jr smith in my opinion one of the best point guards slash shooting guards in the game for the value um fully evolved he has 98 defense 98 perimeter and 98 steel with a 99 three-point shot amazing animations and he can play point guard and he's 6'6 so if i were you one card i would pick up is this jr smith high key one of the best guards in the game and yes as you can see i have him in my squad so one thing you also want to look for in this card is he fully evo fully evo jr smith if you could get him for a hundred thousand mt that is a huge W. This card is very, very good. And also, since some of these Opals are like low-key flooded with these new Super Packs, I would 110% recommend you guys check out bidding on Opals. That's one way to snipe and make a lot of MT. So I was just searching through. A lot of these fully evolved cards, if you could snipe them out, would be sick. And also, one filter I recommend right now since he is in packs would probably be Tracy McGrady, man. Honestly... If you snipe out one Tracy McGrady, either if it's the Leap Year or the other one. Leap Year, you'll make 300k minimum. Um, the other Tracy McGrady, you'll make 500,000 minimum. So if I were you, I would probably try sniping out one of these cards. They're very rare. Even though they're, they're not like 
they're rare in the sense of packs but there is a lot on the market so pay attention to a lot of opals like t-mac um kevin durant's also another one here's another filter man we're gonna go over galaxy opal thunder if i were you i'll buy out peyton and i'll buy out sean kemp and then simply buy those cards out and just try to snipe on the thunder galaxy opal filter with the enabled um the only cards we have is gary payton and sean kemp on that filter so if i were you i think in my opinion it's a pretty good filter to go try and pick that up um there is a lot of cards the market is kind of inflating right now if i were you i wouldn't sell your cards until tomorrow because 2k usually does drop packs on a friday today is not friday today is wednesday thursday is usually a locker code day and something really small which indeed i don't really think the player cup locker codes are the best as of late i don't really think they're that good but uh yeah so right now if i were you if you have any high tier cards you got recommend selling them one higher tier high tier card that didn't really go up a lot actually no he did go up he was around 700,000 mt yesterday he's rocking around 907,000 mt so you know what's kind of weird though these packs are still here and they're also here for another five days and 22 hours so i'm kind of confused on why some of these higher tier cards did go up so much i guess most people did pack them yesterday which means the prices will go down another card i recommend trying to snipe is Ed anthony edwards he was 160k all week the packs come out he's down to 99k i think he does go back up to a bid does he go back up to a bid friday it's possible we don't know what's coming friday now that prime's gone now that we haven't had flash in a while we're probably gonna get some crazy opal packs on friday um it is pretty much end game we're under two months left for 2k21 so right now what to expect honestly guys probably just some crazy crazy galaxy opals maybe we also get new duos tomorrow i'm totally not sure what's gonna come out but whatever it is it's gonna be something very big so that's why i'm saying sell your team now there's gonna be new opals coming into the game in which is gonna crash the market even more so you can sell your cards either today or tomorrow they most likely will not drop content tomorrow the only content they really dropped in a thursday in a couple months was lamello ball and that's kind of hard to say they usually never ever do that so if i were you sell your cards get on the galaxy oval snipe filter get on the pink diamond snipe filter there's a ton of super packs coming out right now so yeah if i were you i would pretty much just follow these methods try to snipe out pink diamonds and whatnot some pink diamonds will rise so let's check out wade's price because i told you guys to snipe out dwayne wade let's look at his price um he is the prime pink diamond dwayne wade so he should have value he's also matched up with Shaq. and okay he did go up a little bit he went up about 3k since yesterday he was around 13 to 15k he's up to around 18 so if you did invest in dwayne wade you're gonna make pretty decent mt um nothing crazy but it's better than nothing uh what else we got the eddie curry's eddie curry looks like his value is shot same with the new bowls these super packs really did drop the market and i think it's safe to say guys it is it's completely end game all i'm saying is what you really want to pay attention to is higher tier opals and also like what's in the set what's valued in the set pretty much pretty much every set to make mt you want to pay attention to every new set that dropped in the game and also take over and prime as well these are probably the most like cards you want to look at you could also try sniping opal lebron there's two lebrons that you can snipe and they're both in packs right now so there is a lot of them being pulled i would honestly recommend getting on this new lebron filter it's two galaxy levels if you get one you're making a minimum of 600,000 mt i think it's worth the wait if you do snipe out lebron you do make a lot of mt and also if you do have any lebrons i would not sell i would wait till tomorrow and see what's going on with the lebrons because uh the other point guard lebron is kind of cheap man at 496k he is non evo he's still a god guys it is lebron james he's still one of the best cards in the game i did i actually used him not too long ago but yeah that's really it for the video man try out these snipe filters let me know how it does go and yeah that's really all i got we'll pop one lebron pack and then we will end this video maybe we'll pull an opal and yeah that's really all i got for the video guys so hope you did enjoy stay tuned for more content guys have a good one peace